Hello everyone, this is Bradley. So today we're going to do this Voronoi Tower animation in Blender 3.1 Alpha using geometry nodes. This animation uses very similar principle as we are doing that Voronoi animation that I've shown previously. So let's just start. The basic concept of a procedural function has been explained the last time, so I'm not going to repeat. Uh, but I'm going to use a little bit different method. So I create a grid. Okay, and then I'm point distribute so that I can determine the amount of points I generate on this plane. Uh, I have this position, so let's click a set of position because I want to normalize them. I do not want to create any kind of points in the middle. Also, this is procedural, so you can actually take uh, maybe grid to 5 by. Because we're setting the amount instead of density, so the amount doesn't really change. Here, let's take a vector mass. I'm not really sure if this position is really working, so let's take a normalize. So normalize basically put all this kind of position into a sphere, uh, into a sphere whose length is one one one. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to take a mix x y z vectors and take a vector mass to scale that up and down. So start from 0 0.1 and end at maybe 4. So something like that. Later take a delay for off. We take a time info node. And now if we play this animation, so take that to 1000, take the factor to 1, then we can see it's emitting particles. But I do not want to see all this kind of order of emission. So here, let's, instead of using the index mode, I'm going to turn on this random mode, plug the points into the geometry. So now it's emitting completely randomly. Okay. So the step size means the interval to emit one point to the other points. The duration is the amount of time for points to reach their destination. So now it's kind of very slow. Once we create all these kind of points, let's increase that a little bit. Maybe 0 0.2. Okay, so we're going to take these points as a way to create a curve line. So take a curve line and resample points to be a single curve point. So that we can use the fill curve function. Right now it does not seem to have any effect, but we need to join geometry, take a quadrilateral. I do not know why it has been called these names. By doing so, we should be able to create something if we realize them. So now we have all this kind of interesting pattern being generated. Okay. Uh, this is already a kind of very interesting pattern, but if you would like to make them more annoyed, you just take a dual mesh node. You can decide to keep a boundary or not, but uh, last time we know that if you keep a boundary, it's very difficult to bevel. So I probably just uh, ignore that. So now we have this is geometry, which looks kind of very clean, but if you look at the wireframe, we have all these kind of cuts. Here's the one issue I want you to realize. Um, because we have points surrounding this curve, so there are lots of cuts being made around. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for. So we have to delete the geometry when they're not being emitted. So basically when they're at the starting point. Uh, in this case, we start a flow to compare. Uh, uh, now it's in three point when it's now called a compare node. Let's take an equal. Uh, this fall off basically goes from zero to one, which means if the fall off is zero, then it's at the start position. So now if we take that, and this is exactly what we're getting. So we have now have all these kind of coronoid cuts being generated. We can definitely take a increase the duration so that it's kind of slow.
and you can play around with all these kind of settings just uh, how it works uh, after that we're going to do the polygon animation so I've explained in last tutorial for this kind of polygon manipulation you just uh, take the attribute mesh nodes split edge take a set of position let's uh, shrink uh, the size of the edge a little bit so take the mix RGB or mix vector whichever one are good take the position okay once we have this kind of result let's translate them so to translate them we can use either noise or other things but uh, maybe I will take the proximity fourth use the polygon center as the vector combine XYZ fourth into Z vector into offset we need to take an empty or maybe you just increase this skill so now we have this result what we can do is to interpolate this fourth the interpolation using a cur float curve can only work between 0 to 1 in this case let's just we can also use the mass function which contains the power the power also works for 0 to 1 so whichever way you want is okay so let's auto clamp so we have this result finally just take the solidify modifier and push it down and then we can take a bevel since we have time we can discuss a little bit more about the material so let's go to geometry nodes uh, but the material is quite a uh, simple you just uh, output um, the fourth out and you can name that whatever you want for example you may name it as it as a color and within shader for the material because this is a geometry created within the geometry nodes so we set the material so that we can add the material okay once we have this material we can use the attribute node to take a color and we can use a color ramp or mix rgb whichever you want plug the color into color we can go to the render view or actually in this case let's for the moment let's go to material preview so the second color is for the white so the center so we can take that to something like that and this is the result if you do not like this default you can potentially add a color ramp before so that there is a more black area being covered uh, and so on and so forth so finally this is how you play around with all these kind of settings and if you play this animation then we have something being created there are lots of settings that you can potentially tweak with this setup uh, as i mentioned before with all this kind of scale or so but these are other stories and basically that's it i probably speak very fast but the most of the stuff have been have been explained in other tutorials so I do not want to waste too much time the most important part is really just uh, to create a particle system using a delay fourth node and other parts are basically being covered more or less in other tutorials so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll probably see you next time bye bye